Avoid these five buyer mistakes. A lot goes into buying a home. So whether you're a first time home buyer or you're upsizing, downsizing, and you've done this before, there's a lot that goes into a purchase. These are five mistakes that we see buyers make and we want you to avoid them. I'm Carolina from the Armstrong team and me and my partner, Jared, have been helping buyers and sellers for over 20 years in Toronto. So if you have a specific question, contact us by email or check out our Instagram account. So let's get into these five things that we see buyers make and how to avoid them. Number one is falling in love with the staging and not the home. Remember, staging is there for a reason. There's an art, there's a science to it, and it's meant to evoke emotion and want you to buy the place. But keep in mind, you have to look past it. You have to see if your furniture will actually fit in the space. Staging furniture is usually smaller. Um, you'll notice sometimes in the living room, there's not even a TV in there. So make sure that that sectional that you love fits in the space. Make sure that, you know, your style and decor will fit into the style of the home. So take away all the fancy, you know, rugs and pillows and put your stuff in there. Do you still love the place? Make sure that you can look past the staging and fall in love with the actual, you know, characteristics of the home and the space inside of it. So that's number one. Number two is buying with the listing agent. Many buyers think or may think that, you know, going straight to the listing agent and you're going to get a deal. Well, you're not. The listing agent signed a contract with the seller. So their number one goal is to get the seller the best price and the best terms. They're not looking out and trying to find you the perfect home. They're trying to sell that home that you walked into. So make sure that you get a buyer's agent on your side that really understands what you're looking for in a home and is able to help you and when negotiating is, is trying to get you the best price and the best terms. Number three is speeding through your showings. I've seen people spend more time looking for a pair of shoes than inside the home that they're going to buy. Step inside, sit down in the living room, open the cupboards, imagine yourself coming home every day to this home. Make sure that there's enough space on the cupboards, in the kitchen cupboards, um, that fits all your appliances. Does it fit your coffee maker, your blender, toaster? Is there space in the bedrooms for all your clothes? Go and really absorb the space so that you can see if it is the right one for you. Don't rush through it. Number four is not getting your financial ducks in order before you start looking for a home. It's very easy to get caught up in a purchase, walk into an open house or see something online, fall in love and want to make an offer. But what can really kibosh this for you is not actually knowing, you know, what you're approved for and making sure you have the right down payment. You want to make sure before you even start looking that you have a mortgage commitment in place. So not just filling out an online mortgage application, talk to someone, talk to a lender, give them all the details that they require to get a commitment to you and understand you know, your mortgage pre-approval and what you can afford and what the monthly payments would be. This will really help you so that when the time is right and you do find that home, you're not wasting time, you know, getting all that information to a lender and you can be confident that, you know, the home you find is the home that you can afford. Number five is not being ready to compromise. So whether you have a $500,000 budget or a $5 million budget, it's likely that you won't find everything on your list, as crazy as that sounds. Eight out of 10, nine out of 10, perfect. Like, you know, those are good, good things to be aiming for. 
But keep in mind that, you know, if you're looking for a specific neighborhood, there may be homes that come up in that neighborhood that need some renovations or they don't have the number of bathrooms that you're looking for. Be open to compromise. Keep in mind that you're up against what's on the market, other competition, and of course, what you can afford. Get your, your wants and your needs, you know, written down in an order and really understand them between yourself um, and your partner if you're buying together. Hope this information helps you. And as always, feel free to reach out to us. Let me know in the comments if I've missed anything that you think is important. I'm Carolina from the Armstrong team. See you later.